So, uh, hi. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I come to you guys today because I know Bruce going back to when I first came into the uh, industry. Uh, I came down from Canada. I went to school at Sheridan College, uh, trained to be an animator. I uh, was working at Fox Animation when they were just opening up at the tail end of Anastasia, kind of through their run until they shut down. Um, apprenticing through uh, through the animation department back in the day, in the 2D department, you would uh, you'd start off at the bottom, you know, you'd do rough in-betweens cleanup, and then you'd kind of learn the, the trade. And uh, kind of halfway through that experience, I took a, a, a side course. I, um, I uh, made some connections and made some friends with... Uh, Fellows who were doing pre-production work and doing storytelling and stuff, and uh, and I believe it was a different kind of experience because he was uh, he was really the master of his own story. So in terms of learning the pre-production arts, it was a great introduction, a great chance to kind of uh, learn the basics. But uh, I really had to let that studio collapse and go back up home to Canada to learn the craft of storyboarding. So my my way into storyboarding was via animation, which. Uh, I always find it interesting working with my colleagues because some people come into storyboarding from layout, some people come into storyboarding from uh, independent filmmaking. I came into storyboarding from animation. So some of the stuff I'm going to show you, uh, you're going to see you know, a lot of rough posing, a lot of scribbly drawings that are made to not sit on their own. They're made to move in time. Um, when I first got into doing storyboards, uh, one of the things I had to wrap my head around was, was the actual crux of the job. Um, it wasn't about individual drawings. It's always about the story. Um, a good drawing with a bad idea is still a bad idea. And at the end of the day, anything you do in the storyboard department is going to be paved over. Your entire career is based on somebody else plusing your work or paving over your work. And so part of what we have to kind of come to terms with the storyboard artists is finding that balance between clear, confident drawings that represent good ideas. And good ideas don't come out of the gate. You have to hunt for them, you have to fight for them, you have to dig them out of the ground. And the best experiences that I've had as a storyboard artist have been working with teams of people that you can sort of relate to on a family level. Um, the, the closest um, career I would put to storyboarding would be stand-up comedy. And not to say that we're you know, always telling jokes, but what stand-up comedy is about is standing in front of a group of people and being as honest as you can be. And I think when you're in a story crew, you have to try to find that dynamic. It doesn't always happen. You have to fight for it, and you have to, you have to find that chemistry with a group of people that, that, that you feel really comfortable with. Uh, so part of the job is based upon your ability to communicate with drawings, and part of the job is based on your community to uh, your ability to communicate with ideas, and those two things don't always sit nice with each other. And so, um, what I'm going to show you today is a collection of, of storyboard samples from different projects, and uh, my point of view is, you know, tainted by my experiences. So I can only give you the information that I've come to. Uh, I will not say that what I'm going to show you is definitive. There are many different ways to solve a storyboarding assignment. There's many different ways to crack a movie. Um, what I can tell you is sort of, you know, what I learned along the way of my own path, my own career. So the board, the drawing themselves don't matter. What matters are the ideas behind the drawings. And the ideas represent story. And story is always it always comes from, uh, from character, and always comes from uh, you know, the whole uh, beginning, middle, and end of a narrative. And so uh, whether you're dealing with, with a novel, whether you're dealing with a TV show, whether you're dealing with a movie, you always have to step back from, from your assignment and, and look at it from the whole. And that's a hard thing to do. So uh, in terms of the drawing side of things, uh, you want to come at your work with confidence, with simplicity and with clarity, because uh, at the end of the day, it's a communication tool. I'm going to show you some rough boards here that are really just kind of scribbly, just to kind of get you prepared for what I'm going to show you. Um, I'm not saying that these are brilliant drawings, but compositionally, they represent clear ideas. And clarity of idea is the key to being a good storyboard artist. Clarity of ideas mixed with efficiency. Can you put this drawing down in less than a minute? 
Um, you know, this is a wide shot representing, you know, a connection between this potential cowboy and this kid. I don't know what the story is. It's just a composition, just an idea. Uh, you know, going through your shots, I mean, it's, it's all a matter of trying to find uh, context mixed with drama. So, uh, when, you're, when you're, you know, kind of approaching your boards, you always want to be clear, but don't get hung up on the, um, on the drawings, per se, because it's a matter of... of telling the idea and then moving on. And part of the reason for that is the key to a successful movie, I think, is the disposability of your ideas as you come to better ideas. The lack of fear to let go of, of something that you hold precious. There's that old saying, you know, uh, comedy is about killing babies, and that's absolutely the truth in any kind of storytelling medium. You know, you have to figure out what's going to relate to your audience. And if your audience isn't responding, then the work isn't working. It doesn't matter sort of how, how brilliant the idea was on a Tuesday. Uh, if on Wednesday it's not communicating, it's not communicating. So you have to be willing to sacrifice that stuff.